Hello, I welcome you once again. So thank you very much for being part of me. Because if you love truth, you love this channel, you always write comments, you always share to other people, you like, you, 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 you touch the likes, I like the video and all that, you are part of me, we are one. You love me. So because if you don't love Jesus, you cannot love his word, you cannot love truth, because Jesus is the way, the truth and the, and the life. So I think for you loving this channel, loving everything that concerns me, means you are part of me, that you love me, and I love you too. I love you too, as I say, I always say that people that love truth will like this channel, we subscribe, we subscribe to the channel. We always like to know the latest thing happening. We always follow up, follow me up and know what is happening. Okay, so I'm Sunday once again, so thank you very much for loving me, you know, for loving God's word. Not even loving me, loving God's word, loving the truth. This is all I need. So thank you very much for doing that. And uh, I thank you for doing yourself for doing yourself a favor if you are the, you know if you are here for the first time for going ahead and subscribe and touch the bell as we move on now. Okay, I'm talking about sex. I'm talking about sex between married, between couple. Sex between couple. I'm still on it. I, as I said to you that I'll be teaching more now about sex your sexuality between couple in a, you know in a, in a home in a godly home how it's supposed to be all right so i am talking about sex between a married man and a woman between, between a couple i want to tell you young young man god has blessed you by giving you that beautiful woman that beautiful beautiful man your helper your wife i mean your wife I want to advise you to stop making her eyes to be pouring water every time. I'm advising you, you, you young man, you a man like me that is hearing me. I'm advising you, stop causing the eyes of your wife to be pouring water every time. I mean crying, 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 crying. Some of you, is very very good in beating your wife with your hand, beating the woman every time, telling her how miserable her life is, telling her how wretched she is, saying all kinds of things to her, even go to an extent of referring her to her family, where you go and pick her and marry her. You keep on using your mouth, talking. Walls that make her in the night, she can't sleep. Her eyes is pouring water. She's crying, crying. Some is even beaten. You know, beat, beat her everywhere. She'll be crying, and the neighbors will be. We know you as a man that taught that turned the, the wife as a you know, a, a you know, to, to that uses the wife to learn boxing, punching. You no, know? nobody. Anytime you want to learn, learn boxing, you remember that you have a woman in the house. You, you prepare, say, okay, I'm going home to go and punch her, to go and do training. There is gym out there. Go and learn, go to gym, go and register. Go to gym, go and register. Her body is not a punching, uh, uh, not a, a cement or a bag of cement or, or an iron or something that they, they put that men used to go and learn how to punch, how to do boxing. It's not what she's meant for. Stop causing her eyes to be pouring water. You are in the life of this woman, of this woman called your wife, to cause her undies, to cause to cause her pants to always to be pouring water. Yes, I have to talk to you. A true man, a godly man, is to use mouth, praising, talking to your wife calling her names, use your eyes, use your mouth, and you romance her without touching her. And her panties, her undies, you understand what I mean? Her pants will be, will be pouring water. She will be melting for you. 
she will melt in just remembering remembering you. Even when you are not at home, she just she remember you. Remember, remember you, she remembered you that I have a man in my life. I have a woman. Her pants, her pants will wet for me. Her on this will be dripping water, dripping, pouring water, just discharging, discharging for you as a man, as the husband. You are in her life to always do the things that will cause her on this to wet, to be discharging water for pressure for you, not causing her eyes to be poor in the midnight when she's supposed to hold you after the night time and sleep and sleep like a baby. She will just find a corner and go and sit down and be crying for her life. Calling God, say, God, where are you? When you are the God that God has given to her, God has given to that woman for you to be a God in her life. To show her how good God is. You're supposed to protect your wife. You're supposed to provide for her. You're supposed to attend to her needs, to know how it is pending her, how she feels. You're supposed to use your mouth, your mouth, and praise your wife that whenever the water comes out of her eyes, you see she's crying for passion, tears of joy, not, not tears of pain, but tears of joy. You suppose when you sit down with her, you talk, talk to an extent, you know, to an extent that she will start to cry and hold you. Even before your hand will come to her body. You can, if you, if you, you touch, you just remove her on this, you will see that the, the water that is flowing down there is more than the one that's come from her eyes for, for joy, for, for, for pressure. This is what God wants you to do as a man, as the husband, not using her as a punching, you know, using her back as a, a punching, as a box, boxer, learning, learning how to punch. It pains me when I see a man beating her with a wife. When I see a man beating a woman that he called my wife or his wife. Is very very bad. I'm talking to you men out there. If you have been doing that, I am using this opportunity to tell you to change your wicked ways. It is a wicked. It's a wicked thing for a man to be to be beating the, the wife, to be laying his hand upon the wife, beating the wife. It's a very bad and a horrible thing for you as a man to do. So I come to, I move to a woman. Woman, you're supposed to make your husband, because some of you out there, you women, you are terrible. Some of the women I'm talking to are terrible. You talk to the man, you, 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 you talk to the man, the man becomes frustrated. You use everything, keep on frustrating the man. There's never anything that he do that you praise him or you say we did well. You, have never, you didn't see him as a husband or as a man. You keep making his life miserable and hard, making things hard for him. You don't supposed to make his life hard for him. Listen, woman, I'm talking to you, woman. I'm talking to you, beautiful woman that is listening to me. I'm talking to you. You suppose you suppose to make his life. You suppose to make his dick. You know what I'm talking about? You suppose to make his penis, his dick, to be hard. Not making life to be hard for him. You suppose to make that you look at your husband. The way you 
talk to him, the way you you attend to him, the way you you you, you use your mouth and praise him, the way you you treat him, you do, it not it not touch him, but you look at his boxers or you you, do, you you try to look through, you see that his man, his manhood is as strong as iron, without you touching. Without you coming near or touching him, you will see his manhood strong like iron. Don't make his life to be as iron. Don't make which means don't make his life hard. Woman, stop making his life hard and miserable. You are in his life to make his manhood. You know what I'm talking about? Penis. 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 I believe really, no, no, no small, no, no, no small underage. I don't want because this video is meant for couple. He's supposed to make his to be strong like iron, not his life. Okay, okay. The best way to do that, no, the thing that he so much law do those things. Do the thing that he likes so much. Learn to praise him. We men, we are very easy. Praise him. Talk to him. Always tell him he's the best. Even when he makes a mistake, he makes a mistake, tell him, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, okay. You know, try to pardon because we are like little baby. Though we claim to be strong, but we are not strong. So we're not strong like that. Just try to handle him like a baby, like a baby. When you handle him like a baby, you see you get him. So you try to we like also pet him, just pet him, pet him, this one and talk to him, pet him, no? Pet him. After the stressful days, just when he comes back, ask him how was the day? Did you want me? Are you hungry for the other one? If you don't want, I'll give it to you. Just something like that. Just make nice food, just try your best, make a nice food for him. You know, when he's taking his bath, just go there and be talking, talking to him, say, can I see that thing? You know, something, something crazy, you know, something stupid. But those things will make, will make his manhood, make him strong. And his life will be very, very as soft as butter. You are making his life very soft, very easy. You know, everything easy for him because of the law you are giving him. But you make the you make the man the manhood strong, and when you do this, you are a good woman. Heaven will be happy for you. This is what you are in this life to do: not shouting, not making mistakes, not for 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 when he's provoked, you will be like a fool. Close your mouth. Learn to buy him gifts sometimes. That looks maybe no matter how little, you give him some gifts. Give him some you know, you understand what I'm saying? Give him some gifts. This is how it's supposed to be. You are, you women are supposed to make the life of your husband. Make his life to be as soft as butter. But make his manhood as strong as iron. Don't make his life to be as strong. If you are making his life to be as strong as iron and his manhood as soft as butter, you are doing the wrong thing. Make his life, make his life to be as soft as butter, but his manhood, his penis, as strong as iron. Woman, this is your work. You men, stop. Making your woman, making her eyes to be pouring water because of the miserable life, because of the, the way you are treating her, make her panties, make her make her on this. Anytime she put it on, wet it, let it be wet, let water, let it be flowing. You know, because by the way you treat her, the way you praise her, you know. Where you pump her, where you praise her, where you romance her with your mouth. Let water be flowing 
down there, not her eyes. Wet her pants, not her eyes. This is the work of a woman out there. If you are making her eyes to be pouring water and her undies as dry as Hamatan, <laughs> we are doing the wrong thing. Or to be as dry as stockfish. If you are making down there as dry as stockfish, but the eyes is, is pouring water like rainy, no rain season, we are doing the wrong thing. Make her life. When you make her, her make make the make, make, when you make her on this to be pouring water like a tap, and the eyes as not dry. You know, you are doing the right thing. The eyes just show you some, you know, greeting like, you know, happy and smiling. You are doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing. So do it. I urge you from today. Let your wife always say, why are you making you make me too wet so much? Down there, you are, which means you are doing the right thing. And let your husband tell you, to tell you, why are you making this place, making my leg always strong as I am. You know, you make it so strong. Which means you are doing the right thing. God bless you as you hear this. And you understand what I'm saying. And you go ahead and do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And do it. Then the devil, the hand of the devil will be totally broken in your marriage. God bless you. Read with it. Don't give this video to somebody who is not married. It's for a married couple. And if you are there, it's time for you to get married. I speak to you and say, a good man to come to you. A man that will do this, that will love you and give you the best. Start for you now. And if you're also a man that needs a woman, a woman that's meant for you that will finish you up with law, I speak also for that woman. Anyway, she is to start for you. And to of you see each other, it will, magnet. it will be like a magnet. It will magnetize. It will join. God bless you. Share it to a married couple that will also listen to it and learn something about what God is talking about marriage. Okay?